Hello everybody, welcome to Monday. A um, bit of a chilly one today, but I um, hope you've all managed to stay nice and warm and, uh, and crack on with your home learning. Um, obviously everyone's been talking today about um, yesterday's press conference um, where Boris Johnson gave us the great news um, that friends from reception year one and year six will soon be back at school, uh, which is fantastic news. Um, hopefully term six is, uh, you know, obviously a lot of provisos in place at the moment, but hopefully term six um, is, is when those uh, year groups can start back. Um, and hopefully then get the, get the rest of the school back, which will be fantastic. I spent a lot of time today thinking about that and um, having a Zoom meeting with Mrs Pestel from Fairfield School and Mrs Rapson Stark, our Chair of Governors, and talking through ideas of, of how we can get you guys back to school nice and safely, keep you, making sure you keep well, but obviously cracking on with your education and of course seeing all your friends again. So uh, exciting times and we hope to see our reception year one and year six pupils um, very, very soon. Um, tomorrow's an interesting day, it's um, the 12th of May and that's our mass called Mass Observation Day. And it's traditionally been a day where people have, have written a diary um, about their day, which is then kept in something called the Mass Observation Archives. And historians in the future will be able to look back at these uh, diary entries and, and learn about the past. Now I think it's really appropriate at the moment, we're, we're in unprecedented times with this coronavirus. And I think it'd be really interesting for all the children to write their diary of tomorrow. How do they spend their time? What do they do? Talking about their home learning, talking about their, their, perhaps their, their exercise that they have during the day. Um, there's a really, really good record of, of this unusual time. So all the class teachers have set that tomorrow as a task for the children uh, to write a diary entry for the day. And I think that's going to be interesting. And uh, we'll, we'll send... Uh, some of the really good ones off to the uh, the archives of the mass observation for, for them to be kept forever, which which is great. A um, few things that have been uh, going on today. Um, I've seen some fantastic artwork from class four today. Um, their their blossom pictures are going really really well. So I want to say thank you very much and well done to, to class four and thank you Miss Cross for setting that work. I can really see the children's art improving and progressing um, in that time. So thank you. And while we're on the subject of Year 6s, um, I wanted to uh, say I've uh, seen the, the Year 6s, uh, their Leavers book is starting to come together nicely. I've seen all their photos and I've seen all their little pieces of writing about their favourite times at Black Boys, uh, which is fantastic. So well done Year 6s. Um, and I also know um, that Mrs Sheffield and I have drafted a letter today about uh, ordering your hoodies. So um, that will be coming out uh, very, very soon so you can get your hoodies ordered uh, for, the, for the end of the year. Right, I've got some shout outs to do. Um, first of all, um, some shout outs for children who took part in the VE Day activities um, on Friday. So a shout out to Gabby in, in reception and Arthur in year two. Fantastic medals for you two. Well done. Great designs. Um, also medals. Maisie designed a fantastic medal which she hung on her teddy bear, which I thought was brilliant. That's Maisie in year three. Uh, Rebecca in, in year five and Evie in year five also made some fantastic medals. Really well thought out, showing resilience. Which, which is great. And I saw a couple of lovely prayers from Danny in year four and Lissy in year six. Thank you very much for your, for your prayers for VE Day, which, which were fantastic. And, and one final shout out, and that's to, to Piers uh, in year two, who's working really, really hard in his maths. And he's discovered, oh, it looks to me like a website that could rival mathematics uh, to practice his maths on. So well done, Piers. Uh, keep, up, keep up the good work. Right, that's, that's all for now. Um, all I've got to say is, uh, as Robbie always reminds me, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.